This video is the second in a series on the laboratory techniques used to color the Bruxer Full Arch Provisional Prosthesis. In part one, the PMMA appliance was milled, desprued, touched up, sandblasted, steam cleaned, and the metal copings were inserted. Now preparations are made for the staining process. To create the color of the gingiva, ceramage gum color is used along with a dab of light art, a light curing coloring paste on a palette. For the foundation color of the PMMA prosthesis, mix a specific ratio of violet, red, and brown stains until blended. The desired shade at this stage is not the final shade. A foundation is being established in order to achieve the true color. The ceramic gingival stain is a build-up material. If you think it's too dry and might risk undoing the machine-created contours, use light art clear liquid to dilute it. That will make it easier to apply. Before the appliance is cured, check to make sure the papilla are cleaned up. Use acetone to remove any misplaced stain. Next, place the ceramic stained appliance into the light curing unit to cure for approximately 20 seconds. The curing time depends on the type of light source you are using, so please follow the manufacturer's instructions for your specific equipment. Once curing is complete, dispense the light art stain and mix on a palette. Light art will help you achieve the final desired color. For this case, we mix orange, black, red, and white to create the final gingival shade. With 15 different colors, Light Art's wide range of shades and applications make it easy to achieve the perfect aesthetic. Here, pink and blue-gray were mixed to create the incisal violet stain. Be sure to correct any errors before curing the PMMA appliance. Once the appliance is ready, it will be cured again for 20 seconds or for the length of time your equipment specifies. OptiGlaze is used for the glazing step. OptiGlaze is a light cure protective coating from GC America. It is very important that there are no glaze bubbles on the appliance. To make sure this does not happen, completely submerge your brush in the glaze and make sure it has plenty of liquid. The less liquid on your brush, the higher chance that a bubble will be formed. Create a clean glaze across the entire appliance. At Glidewell Laboratories, the final curing time is 2 minutes, but check your manufacturer's instructions for your specific timing. 
To achieve a high quality device, all bubbles and misplaced brush strokes should be eliminated prior to curing. Don't expect things to disappear during the cure cycle. If you can make the appliance perfect at each step throughout the process, the end result will also be perfect, all in about 30 minutes or less. Follow these 11 steps along with the 9 steps from the first video in this series to help you achieve a lifelike temporary appliance. With this predictable process, you too can deliver impressive results every time.